Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Garner's Journey Homestead. I'm Barbara, I'm glad that you're here. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are have been here before, then welcome back. Today I'm excited um, because I talked about this in a video and you guys said that you wanted to see me do it. And so today I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my own buck spray insect repellent DIY homemade quick easy you can do it and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video okay so you may be saying, well, why are you making your own insect repellent when you can just buy it from the store? You're right, you can buy it from the store. But the reason why I make my own is because the one that you buy in the store has a lot of stuff in it that you can't pronounce. You don't know what it is and it's like toxic, okay? That's just putting it mildly. But it has, you know, DEET in it, D-E-E-T and all of that. So I make my own because I want something natural because it's easy and it's cheaper, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through how I make my um, own insect repellent. I've been doing this for, I think, let me see. I think, no, I think this is the second year that I've done it. I think if I'm not mistaken, the second year that I've done it. It smells great, it works great, and so I've just kept doing it. So if you blink, you're gonna miss it because when I say it's that easy, it is that easy. Now, I wanna give a caveat and say that there is not a perfect science to this, right? So I'm gonna show you what I put in. I'm gonna tell you how many drops, but it is not that scientific where it has to be eight drops. If I say eight drops, it can be eight to 10, it can be 10 to 15. It's whatever you want. I'm just gonna walk you through the principle of the ingredients but you can mix match however you want and again depending on what insects are really prevalent in your area you may want to use more of something less of something don't use the essential oil um, one of the essential oils at all because different essential oils repel different insects okay so again you can make it as your own so i have a spray bottle here that i got from the dollar tree okay i got something cute and clear because I like cute, okay? Not necessary, you can get an industrial one, you can get whatever you want. But this size usually works great for me. And um, I put one in the greenhouse, I'll have one at my house here. So I'm gonna just show you um, how I do it. And it's all essential oils, okay? So the first thing that I use is witch hazel. You can see this here. And again, witch hazel is from a plant. Um, and just make sure that when you get one, that it has one ingredient, which says witch hazel. It doesn't have a whole lot of other stuff added to it, okay? So you can use witch hazel, you can use distilled water, you can use alcohol, you can use any one of those three liquids. I just happen to use witch hazel, okay? So I had maybe this much left in the bottle, so 16 ounces. So I probably had eight ounces um, of witch hazel and I've already put it in here, right? So all, I, all I've done so far is I poured the witch hazel in here. Next, I'm just gonna add essential oils, that's it. And so there's five I'm gonna use today. And I will tell you, um, this is probably my third time making it. I've used different stuff every single time. So it is not an exact science, okay? But here are some of the main ones that repel insects. And y'all, let me tell you, insects love me. My husband says I have sweet blood. My husband works outside. He never, ever, ever gets bitten. Me, as soon as I go outside, I get bit. Like I got bit today. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that, if you can. I got bit today, hadn't been outside, I don't know, more than two minutes. I was on my way to the greenhouse and got bit. So I never work outside without insect repellent because it's like I'm a magnet. They love me and I don't love them, okay? So I put some witch hazel in a spray bottle and then the five and such essential oils we're going to use is peppermint we're going to use some lavender if you can see that we're going to use lemon eucalyptus so this is very similar to citronella right it repels mosquitoes ticks um flies you got it lemongrass and tea tree. Now I've never used the lemongrass and tea tree, so this is new because I found another recipe 
um, online or I've read something that said those two were good. So I got these two from Azure Standard. And I talked about Azure Standard in another video. I'll link it up above. Okay, so that's where I got these. All the rest of my essential oils I typically get from Amazon or I have a friend that sells, what's that fancy essential oil brand? It's not the D, the doTERRA, it's the other one. Let's see. Uh, what's the name of it? Um, Young Living, Young Living, that's what it is. I have a friend that sells Young Living, so I've gotten some from her. I'm not an essential oil connoisseur. They all kind of do the same thing to me. Now, don't come for me if you sell essential oils because maybe one is better than another. Again, I'm not a connoisseur. I use it for diffusing, for fragrance in my house. I use it for insect stuff. That's what I use it for, okay? So this is simple. This is all we're gonna do, okay? So I have the witch hazel already in here and I'm just gonna add, because I'm using five different, uh, uh, five different essential oils, I'm gonna do like 15 drops of each one, okay? There's no rhyme or reason, I just picked 15, okay? So this is the peppermint. That's about 15. Hey, and Tap the Brown says you just start when the spirit tells you to stop, okay? Okay, this is lavender. So again, I'm just gonna I can really smell the peppermint and now I can smell the lavender. It smells good. And that's another, another thing that I like that some insect sprays, like they do their job and they do it well, but it stinks, right? This smells good. I mean, not like cologne perfume good, but it smells, it just smells good. It doesn't make you sick to your stomach. Okay, so this is the lemon eucalyptus. So I'm gonna go a little extra on here. I've never used this, but it said it is like good for tons of stuff. Tons of insects. Smells just like eucalyptus and smells just like lemon. I lost count. It doesn't matter. Okay. Next is the lemongrass. We're going to put some of that in there. I'll see it coming out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And then the very last one is tea tree oil. Mm, smells just like tea tree. Okay. So that's all of the essential oil. So now I'm just going to put the top on and I'm going to shake it up so that everything mixes. And usually I'll do this before I spray it. and smell it. Hmm, so the most prevalent thing I smell is the lemon eucalyptus, which I did put more of that than anything else. I'm gonna put a little bit more lavender in mine because I like the way lavender smells. And also lavender, y'all, is good. So if you do get an insect bite or bee sting, um, lavender is a great thing to put on the insect bite if you get one. Right, it kind of soothes it. It's almost kind of reminds me of like an aloe. Okay, let's shake it up some more. Mmm, smells good. Now, I can smell more lavender than I can the yucca lemon eucalyptus so last step y'all <laughs> i made me a label 
and I'm going to put it on my bottle because one, I don't wanna forget what it is and be spraying it on my plants or something. I don't want somebody else in the house to pick it up thinking it's something that it's not. So I always just make the label and put it on there. I had a really cute bottle for the book spray I made last year, but my um, spray thing stopped working and I could not find the right size nozzle to make it work again. So I had to go buy this thing from Dollar Tree. Okay, just like that, y'all. Done. Done. Done, done, done. So that's how you make your own insect repellent. Y'all, when I go out in the garden tomorrow, I'm gonna spray this and they will leave me alone, okay? So y'all, it's just that easy. Again, I'm always trying to bring you something that's easy, that's practical. And again, most of this I already had in my house because I've used, I've, I've made it before, obviously, you know, but witch hazel and the essential oils, the only essential oils I bought that I didn't already have was the lemon eucalyptus and um, the lemongrass. Everything else I already had or had used before and I ordered it because I was out. So it's just that simple, easy peasy. And you, you guys know the bottles are still to the top because I only use like 15 drops or so. So look, y'all, I don't even know how much that was. I don't know, a dollar or two, I don't know. But easy, I know exactly what's in it. I don't have to guess, I don't have to wonder and it's gonna do the job, okay? Insects will be gone, okay? So I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you try it. If you do, let me know down in the comments um, below. If you've already done one of these before, let me know how yours worked out or let me know if there's a different um, oil that you've used that maybe I didn't use. Um, and so I hope that this was helpful. Thank you for joining me and making my, um, my insect repellent. I can't wait um, to use it tomorrow and the bugs will be gone. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel so that you can see when I go live, hit the bell so that you don't miss anything because I always got something good coming your way. Remember, gardening is a journey. Let's grow together. I'll see you next time.